what we came up with was a very simple mechanism where you have a wooden box with one side of the box that's a soft membrane and the other side with a hole. All you have to do is tap the one side, either with your finger or with an electrical mechanical uh, computer controlled component, and out comes a smoke ring. So we put together this mechanism. There's a solenoid here and a solenoid here. And I can control them separately. So I press this here button and I open this valve. And while the valve is open, now I can control this solenoid here by pressing this to make a smoke ring. So now if you do this quickly, you get something like and you get this smoke ring coming over here. Now I've automated this by timing everything from the computer. Needless to say, this talks to the computer, but then talks to this guy. But now if I press here, you get this automated motion. And then I have all this control about how powerful these uh, solenoids are. So here are these tiny little smoke rings. Or I can have these faster ones, like this. And then the other thing that I've done is I have one for the guy over there, one for the back side, one for here, and one for here. So that you can control them all in one go. Uh, this is my 1950s style uh, cruiser bicycle that I put one of my jet engines that I built on. It's a uh, pulse jet engine, making about 50 to 65 pounds of thrust. Uh, runs on gasoline. Uh, we have a fuel tank here. I have a fuel line coming out of the fuel tank down to a filter, up into a high pressure fuel pump that runs about 90 to 100 PSI. And then it comes out of here and goes out to the engine. We have uh, batteries up underneath the seat that, where these wires hook into. And then uh, you have an on-off switch here and then a safety switch right here you have to pull and it's spring loaded so uh, if you got off the bike for whatever reason that uh, the bike wouldn't just keep going. And then we have a throttle control over here that varies the voltage to the fuel pump. It takes off, uh, accelerates pretty hard, probably somewhere between uh, zero to 40, 50 in um, six, seven, eight seconds, something like that. It's a, it's a little bit to hang on to, so I haven't taken it up you know, really fast because it's just a bicycle. It doesn't have any high-speed uh, tires or rims or anything like that on it. But um, it's a lot of fun to ride. You've been watching a video hack of me drinking beer on C-SPAN at the Judge Alito hearings. Obviously, I wasn't really there, sorry to say, because they don't allow you to drink beer in the Capitol building. Um, so it's, it's a video hack. It's just a simple trick, actually. I'm going to show you the techniques involved. Use a piece of software to cut out that shape, and then you're just going to need a video editing software that allows you to combine a couple layers together to create one unified image. You're just cutting a window and allowing another piece of video to play inside of it. You, you want to match the color, the lighting, and everything. Uh, anyway, that's it. And the reason I did this, purely for the fun of it, I hope you do some video hacks and have fun with that. That's a prosecutor's decision to refrain from discriminating. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.